So at this point, um, well, I suggest you start trying to get some ideas as to what you would like to, what, what application you would like to develop using Scratch, maybe even Python. Uh, we're going to go through a tutorial video where we, I'm going to, I'm going to walk you through how to create a, a just a, a simple application, nothing crazy, nothing too complex. But if you want to explore, you can, you can click here on explore. And notice there's a ton of things here that have been created by other users, other Scratch users. I mean, there's an endless amount of, of applications, games that can give you an idea. Obviously, a lot of these are, are, are very intricate. They're, they're complex and, and they require plenty of time. But I mean, Among Us, very popular right now, I think. Um, then you can actually play this if you press on the flag here and you click it and then you can move. Never played this game before, so you probably know how to play it better than I do. I'm moving with the arrow keys, by the way, and this was all coded by the user, or I guess the developer. But you can also see inside. Now this music is in the way, so I'm gonna go to stage. And notice here it says, when you press X, set volume to zero. And I just did. So you can actually go in this in, inside of the see inside of the code and and just analyze it a little bit. I just I just got rid of the of the music here because it was in the way of me talking, and all I had to do was just look a little bit for the code where that's located. Notice this is part of the stage code of the backdrop. Uh, when I receive message one, set volume to twenty five percent, and then forever play uh, this sound. Notice this is in the backdrop. I imagine this is in the backdrop because when you write code, you write it for each sprite. And so if you write code for this sprite, uh, maybe it won't work for code for the this sprite, which we can't see right now. I guess that's the one that maybe you have to, you have to find. Notice here it says, when you click on the flag, hide. If I was to remove that, and I, if I was to click on the flag, um, I would imagine I could be, I should be able to see it. Somewhere in here. I'll press X to get rid of the music. In any case, you can, um, I'm not going to continue here. You can notice, you can see here the, the code for each uh, sprite. It's, it's, it's very involved. You can put notes, little comments here to to give yourself an idea of what this um, code does. So that should help you. Notice um, some of this code right here is just uh, it's it seems like it was it was just kind of left here. For example, this hide here is is not connected to anybody, so to anything. So it's probably not even used. This is probably not even used. I suggest when you write your code, you get rid of anything that is not being used. So that it's not just there. So this is one. If I go back, uh, there's plenty of other uh, projects out there that you can, I'm gonna leave that, that you can just look at and maybe try to get yourself, give yourself an idea of, of something that you can um, do for your own application. So that's in the explore tab. You can look at different projects. You can try to, you can play them. Tetris. Now the goal here is for you to write your own and 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 meet certain requirements when you're writing your own code, which we're going to talk about as I code along with you. I just want to show you here just endless projects, or if anything, point you in this direction, just so you can see. Very creative um, um, that my students are. They I, I've had a few students make some really cool stuff. Quite a few, um, but that's where we're gonna start. So I just wanted, to just very quickly, show you what's out there, so you can see. On the next tutorial video, we're actually gonna get started here, uh, developing a, a just a small game.